the Germans took only three months to reach the gates of Moscow. The Russians marched four long, blood-spattered years to reach Berlin. November 1944, the Red Army is liberating other peoples of Eastern Europe. But it is not their hour of deliverance. They are simply exchanging one form of bondage for another. Stalin, with the consent of his allies, is making good his original plan. In the wake of an apocalyptic war, he is scavenging, stepping in to pick up the pieces. Winning the race to Berlin would strengthen Stalin's negotiating position. He orders Berlin taken. It is to be stormed, disregarding costs. The butcher's bill is staggering. 600,000 Soviets die in the all-out effort to beat Stalin's allies to Berlin. Germany surrenders. And on the following day, a secret directive is signed by Stalin, setting up detention camps for returning Soviet prisoners. 10,000 to a camp, one million in all. They have seen too much. When I was working on my film Clear Skies, I spoke to a man who had been a prisoner of war at Dachau. He decided that he must get home by any means, and he returned to his family. Of course, they were happy to see him because they thought he had been killed, but now he was alive. He saw his child for the first time, and in the morning when his wife went out, two men in civilian clothes appeared. They demanded his documents, and when he had shown them, they quickly handcuffed him. He said, what are you doing? I'm no criminal. Please take off the handcuffs. They did not agree to that, and only threw the baby's diapers over the handcuffs, and he was led away to Lubyanka prison. At the Lubyanka, they seated him by a door, and each time it opened, he was hit on the ear by a huge bronze handle. It was deliberate. So he said, what are you doing? I was not treated this way even in fascist captivity. Also, the fascists were nicer to you, they said, and they sent him to a forced labor camp. On the day of triumph, fresh Red Army battalions fling at Stalin's feet the despised Nazi banners. But Stalin has usurped this victory, stolen it from his people, the women and children, the resistance fighters, the soldiers, and the workers who fought bled, starved, and died, not for Stalin, 
but for their homeland. All were his victims. Stalin's only conquest was his conquest of the truth. Germany lost five and a half million men on the Eastern Front. Stalin's stolen victory cost the lives of 27 million of his countrymen. Join a scientific search for sea serpents on Arthur C. Clarke's Mysterious World.